Yeah, 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 we got the black jack back on the block. Gonna be upgrading the strut using the original strut. I wanna show you guys a trick. One of my subscribers actually mentioned it in one of his comments and I thought it was a great idea. So I'm gonna bring it to life. As you can see, it has like a blunt edge. When you have a blunt edge in the water, it, it actually creates drag and drag on a boat will actually slow you down a little bit. And we're gonna taper a piece of aluminum, a piece of aluminum rod that's the same diameter as our strut. We're going to taper a piece of aluminum rod to drill a hole in it and taper it off to nothing. Basically make it, uh, our strut, basically look like this. Now I think I'm actually going to do two different styles. I'm going to make one short, which is uh, usually seen on catamarans, these sh short uh, tapers. A longer taper like this. Uh, normally you see that on like a hydro or rigger style boat but we're gonna actually use a piece of aluminum rod I've actually drilled a hole in the end of it already you guys see that and that's gonna slide right that's gonna slide right onto our stuffing tube now I drilled the hole a little well actually I drilled it like one size smaller than my stuffing tube so I can kind of wallow the inside out file the inside out and get a nice tight fit so we don't have to like lock tight this in place when we're done it's gonna look something something like this something like this now this strut would out it actually would actually be ideal for this boat but it's a four millimeter shaft and I don't want to run four millimeter on this boat and this one is 0.150 shaft that I do not have a bushing for so so we're gonna make our own save us a few dollars give us something to do and get some more maybe possibly get some more speed out of it I know for a fact it will make the boat ride better this boat has after, since I've pulled up uh, blueprinted the sponsons i'm able to run my strut basically in line with the ride pads since i've been able to do that it rides great but it had just a little osculation a little porpoise and i think it's from the drag from this strut so hopefully we can get it to ride a little bit better once we get started on our uh, tapered off modification i don't even know what i'm gonna call it our strut mod I guess we'll call it our strut mod <laughs> so so basically I'm just gonna take it out to the side grinder or the the bench grinder and just taper off the end of this pipe to nothing so basically I'm just gonna use my my grinding stone to taper this off to nothing I'm gonna make two of them and then I'm gonna use this to kind of refine the shape a little bit and then we'll put it on the buffer probably won't show the whole process, but we'll get started. Put the video When you're done, it should look something like that. Stick on one side and taper down to nothing on the other side. Right. And I'll take it inside to show you what I'm talking about, but I'm flattening it out so it sits flat to the strut. All right, all right. So we got it cut off the off the rod. Basically, what you come up with: rod tapered down to nothing, and that's what you'll have. All right. So what you want to do is just drill the hole out so that it'll fit on your stuffing tube like that. And then when you put your strut on, it will just sit right in front of your strut, just as pretty as you ever want to see. Look at there. Alright, so you can make it as pretty or as 
however you want to do it because it's your boat so mine was a little bit crooked oh no it's not oh that's perfect yeah see that see how it tapers off to nothing so i've actually made two of them this one didn't turn out so well but it only took me like three or four minutes to do uh, this one took me a little bit longer it's a little bit longer than the other one see the difference in the length so we could try kind of try both of them out and see how how they work and how it affects the boat so it's a longer taper you just put it on there like so and then you got your strut like we did the last one boom look at that look at that huh can't even tell the difference look look at that so it's not gonna add any support to your shaft your flex cable your whole drive shaft system it's not gonna help support it like a, a upgraded st uh, strut would but like I said it's gonna reduce the drag with your stock strut if you guys don't want to upgrade this is a cheap alternative can't even tell the difference look look at that huh tapered it all the way it's like smooth up here I can actually take a little bit more off but you can have a short one a long one a medium one you know but uh, but yeah yeah so let's take it out let's see uh let's see how how it reacts on the boat I think it's gonna make it ride smoother I don't think we'll pick up much speed but I think it'll make the boat ride smoother all right, so you guys seen how I did this, how I made this strut, how I elongated the strut here, kind of tapered it off, give us a little bit more hydrodynamics. Uh, let's see how she performs. I got a GPS in it. Let's see if we can get any better than 43. This thing, let's see if we can do any better. Oh, look at there, y'all. Look at that. Oh, this is pretty as you ever want to see. Look at there. Mm. Yeah, I just want to thank all my subscribers. You guys have been great. Y'all are fabulous. Thank y'all for all the support and stuff. I know my thousand subscribers are coming up, and I just want to thank everybody for all the support and all the great comments. I think my next video about this boat will be putting a stuffing tube in it. I got a little bit of resistance in my stuffing tube where I was bending it around trying to trying to get it set right and the right angle and stuff. So. Let's see what we got. Forty-three. Oh boy, we ain't never gonna get it no better. I didn't reset it, so if we get anything better than forty-three, we'll know it. Move that battery back a little bit, it started to bounce. You see that? Move the battery back some, she started bouncing. I'm glad there ain't no alligators in this pond. Tell you what, this little boat right here is fun to drive. Water cooling coming out both sides. Oh, almost hit that tree. I like tuning this little boat.
handles good with that light battery in it. Oh, first time I ever flipped it. Oh. Take corners at full trigger, taking corners at full trigger. All right, come here, boo. Let's see if we got any better than 43. I doubt it. Peak 43, again. <laughs> She's stuck at 43 with this setup. Stuck at 43. Same battery size, this little battery. I don't want to put a bigger battery in it. So I'm thinking we're going to put a small block in it. A little small block. We're going to put a 2868 brushless motor in it. Take out this 3650 and see if we can get any more power. That little 2868 I think is a little bit lighter than this motor and I can run it on 5S. So uh so yeah, we're going to get we're going to get out that 43 43 mile an hour range with this little boat. Uh see where I've been sanding it, getting it true truing it up. Those aren't scratches, that's where I've been sanding her. Uh, yeah man she's perfect oh she's oh she's on point i just got to put a top coat on it and finish it up but she's been running good it's a fun little boat to tune so appreciate you guys watching uh, that little that little piece right there it didn't really help out with the top speed but i could tell how it was driving it didn't porpoise before before it had a little bit of a bounce to it just a little bit you guys watching my old videos i had a bounce in my last video so uh so yeah we're gonna she uh she actually rode better with this strut adapter on there it just tapers the strut off less drag less lift uh you know giving it a, a smoother ride so it actually worked it smoothed the ride out i didn't get any extra speed with that uh, modification but it actually smoothed the ride out quite a bit so I'm happy with it um, pretty simple pretty simple you guys can do this basically to any strut that that has a blunt edge on it and you don't want to like file it down or anything you just uh, drill a, a hole through the aluminum like you've seen in the video taper it off buff it up make sure it's the same size make sure it don't uh, move around is loose on there. You can even Loctite it on there. I, I, I drew mine tight so I didn't have to Loctite it. But next video, dropping the small block in. See if it does any better. I appreciate you guys watching. Big B with Ironclad RC, a channel where we tinker, test, and tune everything RC. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bells, and all those whistles. We'll see you guys next time. Uh -huh. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah. See how my this is my new um, boat boat stand I made you can use it for catamarans you can use it for v-holes uh, just rubber band your boat on there boom done